Hey folks, so we're going to continue with our getting started articles and my name is Bonnie. So in this use case that we've been following, we're going to now add a new condition up top. When the amount is greater than $10,000, we want to do a fraud check. So to do this, we can add a construct and conductor called a switch case. So just go ahead and search for a switch and add that task. This is the same as if it fails condition. So we can add, uh, give it a name. Let's call it check. Fraud verification required. Now we're going to implement this in Graal and we're going to have the amount as the parameter which we will refer to as amount. The diagram disappeared. And to run this, we can give it a function which will run. And in this case, we'll implement that condition where dollar dot amount, which is what we have referred here is greater than 10,000 greater than or equal to 10,000 then return required and otherwise so return skip or skipped okay so there you go the condition has been implemented so now this when when the switch case is executed this script will be executed and it will produce required or skipped as the output and then we can run case statements on it. So to add a case, there'll be always a default case for switch case. So we can ignore that and add a case that we want to support now for required. So we add a case and then we change the label to required. And in this, we'll add a simple task where we'll actually run the fraud check. So in this simple task, uh, you go ahead and choose the definition that already exists called as fraud check. So let's do that. and. This fraud check, I'm aware that it requires two parameters. One is amount, so we'll pass the amount, and the other one is account ID. This is a pre-configured task in Playground, which is why we already know the parameters it requires, so I'm adding those. And that's, that's it. This should actually trigger the check once the amount is greater than 10,000. So we can verify that. At this time, we haven't done anything with the output of the fraud check. But that's something that we'll do as the next step. So let's go ahead and save this. And now we will run this. So I'm going to run for 10,001 or 10,000 even. Let's call it account one. So when I look at the execution, I should see that the fraud check is actually executed. In this case, the fraud says it's all passed, um, so it's all good. Now let's try to run the same thing with something less than 10,000. As you can see, uh, it went through the default path, which skipped the fraud check. Thank you.